Hi guys, very good evening to you. Uh, my name is Ajay and uh, in this video we are going to talk about how to pop up the file dialog and through the file dialog how you can actually select your attachment, uh, select your files which are going to be attached in your Outlook email, right? So this is the video number 311, uh, and the channel is dedicated to all those who are looking for the Excel, Excel VBA, Access and Access VBA. Please go ahead and watch out, you know, all the playlists which we have created so far on this channel, guys. If you are new to the channel, we have created 42 playlists and these are all the different, different videos. I have the videos for the beginners. I have the videos for the developers. So we have everything for you, right? Now, the video which I'm going to talk about today is that it is going to actually send out the email. In the form of the attachment of course right but then you will have a choice which att attachment you are looking forward to and this idea actually i got it from one of my dear subscriber uh geolico and uh, so he said that awesome video ajay it's quite almost what i need here what if instead of give a path to attach the file we open a window to let choose you know what we want to attach so basically i uploaded recently a video 30 uh i guess 9 where i talked about you know the outlook part that how to send out the uh email with the different different attachments and to the different different people so uh he has actually watched this video appreciated it thank you so much and he is looking for this kind of a thing that you know why not to go ahead and create a kind of a pop-up so the pop-up means i'm talking about guys this pop-up for example when you press control o you know you you have this option called the open you can pick a pick any actually kind of a you know the attachment from this window and uh, if you pick up the any attachment from this window naturally that email you can i mean you can attach that particular attachment in the email so this is what we are going to learn right we are going to uh, write the code here so let's start the coding and uh, don't forget to watch all those 18 19 amazing videos on the outlook part how to connect the outlook with the excel uh, you just need to as i said you need to go to this playlist and find it out here a playlist called excel connecting outlook with the excel right there are like i think 18 19 videos all are different videos right okay so now let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, make the code so what i want to do is uh, in this we will like to use two things one is the outlook code obviously because we would like to connect uh, you know from the excel and the second thing which is you are going to use is the file dialog right now if you don't have any idea idea about the file dialog if you are new to the vba then i would suggest you to go ahead and watch the playlist called excel vba file handling right so this is not going going to be the basic video guys this is going to be advanced extremely advanced stuff we are going to do and i'm not really gonna you know explain you the file dialog system right because i have already explained this in my previous videos so let's go ahead and hit on the visual basic and this is what now we are going to code okay so before i begin as always you know we would like to create the outlook reference so go to the tools and the reference and ensure that this microsoft outlook object library is activated right this i do in my all the videos because this is how you actually tell your Excel VBA that we need to communicate with the Outlook. So 16.0 because I'm using Excel 2016, it depends upon your version, that really doesn't matter, right? Just go ahead and check this option. It would be somewhere here. These all libraries are alphabetically sorted, right? I'm telling this if somebody is watching this video for the first time. If you are new to the channel, just click here Microsoft and you would see here Microsoft. This is the, you know, ActiveX, A starts with A. So just when you scroll it down, you see they are all sorted out. In the sending order so just find it out here microsoft outlook once you click on that this check mark it will show up on the top after your this microsoft office 16.0 object library which is your by default library so this has to be there the first step now the another thing now we want to do is we, let's go ahead and create the macro so now we want to create the macro send email let's say i'm going to give this a name called send email so as usual we'll start with a standard line which is dim o as Outlook dot application. I have explained this in my all 18 videos. So this is how you will set up your Outlook environment, right? Now because we are talking about the email, we want to send out the email. So definitely the next class which I'm gonna use is uh, I'm going to name it as O mail as Outlook mail item, right? So these are the standard lines. If you if you are working in the Outlook and if you if you want if you are dealing with the emails, then this is what you need to write. So I'm going to write here create item what you need to create well we need to create an email item ol mail item this will be responsible for my all the emails this is how I'm going to work on this so these are the important lines and uh, 
now what is the next thing we would like to do um, now the next thing we would like to do is we would like to pop up the you know that window which you when you press control o you know it comes from where the user is going to choose the attachment which he or she wants to send uh, using the outlook email so for that we will use the any variable object variable i'm going to declare it as fl and this is this is the class you need to use file dialog you don't have to on any library for that right this is this would come directly so this is how you write and we will have to define this file dialog and this is how guys you define that what it actually equals to this is what we are going to write that this is equals to application file dialog you would see here different different options you have the file picker you have the folder picker you have the you know the another option which is called the um, mso file dialog open and then save as so what we want to actually do is we want to pick up this file picker the reason reason is very simple because i want to actually pick the excel file not any folder so you use this okay and this is how it is going to work now what is the next thing you want to do well we are going to write here with fl and end with this is how you can write this code this would simply you know give us the opportunity to use the direct the dot operator which connects any object with its property and the methods so what is the first thing i want to do initial file name i want to give which should come on the pop-up so i would write here excel files only or maybe you can write do um, do select file right that's it okay um, what is the next thing i want to do um the next thing which i want to do is um i guess uh, that's fine i just want to display it okay so we want to write a show the popper would come in this way and uh, so let me run this first of all uh, let me quickly run this f8 let me show you how it is going to work right now you won't see anything type mismatch all right so we have here type mismatch why it's showing the type mismatch uh, that's very strange uh just a second let's do it again this is set oh my mistake sorry I should have written here omail actually because this is the omail object not the outlook object all right so now we're gonna write here dot create item and this is the item we want to create i guess now we are fine with this so let's go ahead and run this again if it there we go now the moment this dot show line will execute it this is the pop-up which would come and you can see here in the file name it says to select file and guys this is the same thing i have written in the code in the programming right and this is what the subscriber also was looking forward to that you can go to the desktop from here you can go to your c drive e drive whatever and you can you know pick up the file from there let's say you want to send out this file so the moment you press ok it should be sent right so let's go ahead and program further because this is not the end now what we want to do is um so you will simply write here that you you would like to create a variable here so i'm going to create here my file okay just to name it as string and my file is going to be equals to what so whatever the user will select from that box okay we would like to capture that so how are you going to do that selected items and then you write here one okay so the name would come here once the name of the file comes you know what you need to do so let me just comment this out so here the e co code for the email actually you know is going to run so let me just maximize this so that we can see it what we are doing okay so now the next line is that um, you know that omail is your object it's an email actually object you know so we will write here with omail and uh, if you are if you're a regular watcher of this channel then you know there's nothing new in this you know that we have used it in all our 18 outlook videos so this is just i want to write here that what do you want to do is for example i want to send this email so let me just write here abc at the rate yahoo.com let's say this is the or maybe i can write here abc at the rate gmail.com right so again you can put the cc a uh, lot of stuff you can put but i'll simply tell you about the attachment so this is how we add the attachments now what attachment you want to add obviously your file okay and the next line would be guys to display so let me run this so let's run this f8 there we go there we go now show so we will have this box coming i'm going to select let's say any file you can select any file um, excel file or whatever you want to let's say i select the budget you click okay once you click OK, now see here this variable. 
it says it tells you it gives you the complete address you can see here my file equals to c drive user and my you know my name and then desktop and the file name right and this is what exactly we're going to put it here that's it guys simple there we go and you have the display now the outlook is gonna pop up and there we go i think it the email is drafted let me have a look yeah that's it guys so this is how you can actually make this wonderful code now uh, there is one more thing which I should you know definitely tell you that what if you want to add Multiple attachment. This is only for the one attachment, right? So what you can do is uh, Here where you have written this dot show you can also use its property called allow multi select Okay, and right here true. This means that You will be able to select the three files in one go But the point is then you have to change this because this is one so this has to be two, this has to be three. So how are you gonna make sure, right? So what we will do, uh, wherever, you know, wherever you're writing this email, you declare here a variable called, let's say J equals to one, two, how many times it is supposed to run? Well, uh, it should run uh, for, you know, the items which you're gonna select. So I say selected items dot count, okay? And you will write here next. So this is going to be written within the for next guys, right? And don't forget to, declare the j so i'm going to declare j as let's say long right so now j equals to one two fl dot selected count means that it's gonna run three times if you select the three files and then definitely this line which you have written it should you should cut it from here and you should actually actually paste it here in the loop within the loop because what happens when this loop runs three times you will have the j in the increment you will have the increment in the j and every time this j will increment and then you got to write here j so we have made this static selected item we have converted this into a dynamic because j will every time increment and you will have a new file getting attached that's what we want to do okay i'm going to show you again um let's go ahead and run this again f8 next without for all right so where i actually okay i think it's uh, not the correct way of doing it uh we actually need to cut this from here and put it here because with and end with should come here. I think that's fine. Um, all right, so let's run the code now and I'm gonna give some space so that you can see the code. And this is how you know the code looks like and uh, one more backspace, yeah. All right, there we go, no error. So that means we are doing pretty fine here. Let me see. Okay, allow multi-select, it has read that code. And uh, now it's gonna show. Let me see if I am gonna use one dot txt and then there is a one access logo. I'm using the control by the way. With the control, you can press the multiple attachments and it allowed me. Very nice. I'm going to run this again. Budget. So you see that I have selected three files using the control key. Let, let me let me press OK. There we go now. Let's have a look here. Now what actually it is going to show. Look at this guys. This says that three because you have selected the three items. So that means the loop is going to run three times and this is the first time the loop is going to run. So we have the J1 and one, you know that this one means that the first file is going to be selected, right? So what is the name of that? So it's one dot EXT. Perfect. Let's display it. So it is displayed there. You can see here in this, right? But I'm not going to show you right away. Let's just run this again next. Okay. So now the J is two. And as you can see here, so this J would go here as two and time for the next attachment again. So you will have the second attachment and then the third attachment. And now this should stop. Yes, it has stopped and we are doing fine now. And there we go. The macro ran. Let me have a look here. Oh, wow. This is amazing. So you have got all the attachments and I'm sure you will love this because this is, I mean, I'm, I mean you know, this, this is such a neat and clean code. And this can actually save you a lot of lot of time, right? So I believe that's a code for you and um, I have explained enough. And uh, as I said, if you're a beginner, please go ahead and watch all those beginning, you know, beginner level videos. Go and click on the Excel VB introduction series. Go ahead and watch the Excel VB loops. Go ahead and watch the Excel VB, you know, file dialogue videos, the playlist basically I'm talking about. This is your entire code, guys. So this is the line which was very important. First, allow multi select equals to true and then how you're gonna run this loop three times right so look at this j we have used it because every time the j will get incremented right so you can use this just um, you know create the button here you know how to create the button this that's very simple i'm not gonna really show you i mean just go in the shape quickly let me 
and draw this and right click here and go to the sign macro and choose that macro and that's it guys the going forward whenever you will run this you will have the pop-up right so i hope this answered your query question and all of those who watched this video for the first time i request you to subscribe to the channel and support me and guys i will be back very soon with some more exciting stuff till then you take care of yourself and have a fantastic learning bye bye